Hello everyone, my name is Clint, otherwise known as Mr. Clintastic, preparing to jump into a ranked draft of Throne of Eldraine on MTG Arena. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like and subscribe to help my channel grow in the future. Let's begin. Okay, so our mythic here is the Royal Scions. I've picked this before, I just do not like the red-blue draw two strategy in this format I, I can't assemble it properly <laughs> like scions is definitely a bomb in my opinion but I'm not the best one to run it um the silver flame squire which is a solid card beloved princess which I've seen to be great I'm not gonna fall for the rimrock knights this time I'm gonna grab an out muscle see if I end up in green Here's an Ardenvale Tactician. Maybe I end up like Green White Adventures. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Tactician here. Um, there's a Flutter Fox, but I'm just gonna grab the Tracker. I enjoy having Trackers in the deck. They're they're just solid creatures. Here's a Ginger Brute. A Scalding Cauldron. Hmm. Here's Giant's Opportunity. It hasn't worked out too well for me, honestly. It makes those food, but it, it's, it's kind of too late most time. I'm going to grab this Spore Cap Spider. There's another Giant Opportunity, but I'm going to grab another Ginger Brute. Ooh. Okay, here's Twinville Tree Folk. We can put use it to put counters on our Ginger Brute. Hmm. Are we going to be running white? I'm not so sure. I'm just going to grab this beloved princess just in case. Tall as a beanstalk I think is great. Especially if we end up with a lot more ginger brutes. Another Tomb Bell Tree Folk. So I think that's about as as many like six drops as I'm willing to run. I would like to have some of those creatures that ramp us a little bit. That would be nice. Iron Crag Feet, unplayable in draft. Add seven red. You can cast only one more spell this turn for four. No, that's not where we, where we want to be. Um, just gonna grab this Clockwork Servant. It draws us a card and it's a 2-3 body. Okay, here's another one. I, I don't mind. I'm going to grab the Enchanted Carriage. I like having colorless spells. They never hurt. Especially colorless spells that produce creatures. There's another Scalding Cauldron, but I'm going to grab a Tracker here. Ooh. Okay, here's a Trail of Crumbs. Hopefully we get enough food. I mean, we got two Ginger Brute that can help. Okay. Here's a good reason to um, go white. Throw all that glitters on Ginger Brute. I'm gonna bring in Curious Pair to have more food potential. Another Tracker is awesome. Another Curious. Oh, this deck is really shaping up. Yeah, that all that glitters by itself just makes everything in the deck, well, all the artifacts, way better. Um, not sure that Beloved Princess gets run. But it's not a bad spell at all. I saw that from the last draft. Okay. So we're like a, a mostly green splash of white deck. Currently don't have... Well, we do have a couple pieces of card draw with the Clockwork Servants. So I guess it's not bad. Here's a witch's oven. 
Do we want to pick that up? It's an artifact. It helps out all that glitters. But I don't think we're the the witch's oven strategy. There's a hinge walker. There's the rose thorn acolyte. And I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I want some ramp for our twin bell tree folks. I want those to drop as soon as possible. Here's another ginger brute. Definitely happy happy to see that. Insatiable appetite. It'll be nice to pick up one more of those. Ooh. Hmm. We already have two Tuinville tree folks. Like, do I get one more hoping to have one more Rose Thorn Alkalite? I'm gonna get the halberd. We have enough high drops already, and it and it, it helps the audit glitters as well. There's another scalding cauldron. We do need those, but having these these trackers are gonna be amazing. Okay, a cauldron came around. Ooh, a second out muscle. Happy to see that. Um, I'm gonna grab this return to nature in case we decide to bring it out the side. Garen Brick Carver does pump. On a body. Yeah, the deck is looking stacked. Oh man, the tree folk actually came around. <laughs> Yee. And gingerbread cabin. Okay. I would have liked to get one more rose stone halberd. That would have been nice. Do we really need the enchanted carriage? It's just kind of like a funzy card. Do we need three six drops? I, I don't. I doubt it. Um, kind of want to drop that spider. Maybe drop the carriage. Drop a couple white lands, go down to 15 lands. Cut a curious pair. And cut one to unveil tree folk. And just keep in all that glitters <laughs> as our one white mana <laughs> symbol in the deck. I mean, we could really play it off Rose Thorn Acolyte if we need need it to. We got one Insatiable Appetite, two Garen Brig Harvers, a couple Out Muscles. Okay, okay. Let's run it like that. Hmm. It would have been nice to get maybe like two more rose thorn halberds but maybe all that glitters is exactly what we need to like slap that on and you know go for the races <sighs> okay Give the opponent a hearty hello. Uh oh. Yeah, this hand is awesome. We'll keep it. <laughs> I never noticed the artwork for Out Muscle. That is insane. Like crushing a bear into the ground. <laughs> that is what we're hoping to do to do here today. 
We'll keep seven. Mm-hmm. Turn one, weasel back red cap. We shall turn one, ginger brute. Swings. They know how powerful Ginger Brute is, but Weasel Red Cap is, is pretty powerful as well. Weasel Back Red Cap. Now they can swing in for three here. Which is fine, they kind of lose their turn. So, we are going to swing in. We're going to create a food token. Play out our tracker. Boom. Maybe we block with Tracker, maybe we don't. <laughs> uh, it just depends here. Probably will. Don't We don't want to take too much damage from a Weaselback Red Cap. For the free, at least. Rage and Red Cap. Doubt they swing here. Okay. That's good. Hmm. So I'm just going to drop the Wildwood Tracker. Um, I'm going to swing with a Wildwood Tracker. See what they do. Oh, that's wonderful. Like we don't even have to lose our food token here. We just... Okay, we get rid of Raging Red Cap for two mana. Get to keep our board. We do need one more mana. Mm hmm. Mm, we really need one more mana. So we're going to make that unblockable. And we're gonna get in with everybody. Okay. So we got rid of a red cap raider. And we get to drop a curious pair that can trade with the weasel red cap. Once again, we just need one more mana to really go off here. We shall see if we make it. Mm-hmm. There we go. I guess we put the counter on Ginger Brute. Go on and kill that raging red cap and swing all. Mm-hmm. They didn't realize that Ginger Brute had indestructible, so that's nice. That's probably scoop worthy right there. They just cleared their board. Reef Soul on Ginger Brute. Okay. Not bad. Mmm. Yeah, just swing in here. Oh no! Is this a human? Human peasant? Did not realize that was a human peasant. Oops. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> They're at 10. They can swing in twice. We can swing in one, two, three, four. Like, does he even attack here? Because we're swinging in major. I doubt he attacks here. 
that wouldn't be a good look for him. And we don't have anything to really, <laughs> we don't have anything to kill that. Yikes. No attacks. Like we're not, <laughs> you're not, we're not just letting them get in for free here. Uh, decline. I mean, we could tap it down ourselves, but they gain life from that. Play out another wildwood tracker. So here I might just um I don't know, I don't think it's time to like let them start drawing cards. They could use their Sirakara to just kill the two Wildwood trackers. Hmm. It's looking pretty bad. Alright, there's Scalding Cauldron. Uh-oh. So Sirakara could really just kill off those, um, these tokens here. We really need Ginger Brute. That's not going to be enough to save the Wildwood Trackers. And they, and they could target at instant speed. Oh goodness. Clackbridge Troll came down and just kind of did exactly what it needed to do. And I don't see a way out of this. We're gonna, gonna scoop that up. We have no way to kill the Clackbridge Troll. And now that they have Clackbridge Troll and Sayakara. They can deal damage as they please, get card advantage. And we have three ginger brutes, we just didn't pick them up. Um, do we have any way in the sideboard? Like we, we literally had no way to kill off an 8-8. Eight, eight. You know, we can't... <laughs> Sometimes the opponents just have good things against us. We had nothing for an 8-8. Eight, eight that gains life and draw a card. Even if I would have sacked creatures to it, we still would have lost. Okay. Okay. Let's try to find our Ginger Brutes. Hopefully they don't like, say the opponent didn't have Reeve Soul as the answer for Ginger Brute that turn. And we just get in multiple turns with damage. We just would have won. I'll drop the tracker. Mm. We'll just drop the cabin here. Trail of crumbs, nice. We get to play Clockwork Servant, draw a card, swing for two. It's kind of difficult to beat those food decks because they draw so much life. I mean, <laughs> draw so much life, gain so much life. Especially one that played Trailer Crumbs early, they can get advantage. I know we have food, but we're not like a dedicated food build. Savvy Hunter. So we need to go in and kill Savvy Hunter now.
so that it can't start gaining advantage off of the blocking aspect of its ability. All right, the opponent is in the think tank and we're playing with a dragon. <laughs> Foulmire Knight draws a card. Okay, we get some free swing ins here. Okay, so we'll just see what the opponent does here at two life. If they can play out of this, I just need to... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was like, if they, if they could play out of that situation, I need to just put my cards down and uh, take a break. <laughs> that was nice. That's exactly what we wanted the deck to do. Just kind of beat face early. Leave the opponent with limited time to really make any long-term decisions okay game three we're currently one and one Ew. We'll keep it. I mean, we need green land, but we have two. I mean, we have a lot of colorless spells in hand. Like, if this goes well, we might be in great shape. Even if we draw another white land, we can play Clockwork Servant. We play out Guide Mother. This could be wrong. I'm just gonna slap that on Ginger Brute. Like that's where where we wanted it to go anyways. They could have removal here. And if they do, that's the gamble we took. <laughs> like they have to have the removal here, or we kinda like blow them out. Yeah, dragon. Okay, that's very guide mother. Just gonna drop the Scalding Cauldron, make it a 4 4. And end the turn. <clears throat> like, is Ginger Brew all that glitters that technology? They didn't even block. Wow. Um. I'm gonna play out the Acolyte. Now we need to, you know, have some kind of momentum here. They could have removal for Ginger Brew. Yep, Ember's Shield Breaker. Tap Trebuchet. Mm. 
Gingerbread did great damage. It took him all the way down to eight. Rimrock Knight can't block though. We're at 12. All right. Pass turn. They ping us down. Block here, see what they do. Okay. They lose their knight. We have out muscle for next turn. Nice. Okay. Yes, we have out muscle for this turn. Actually, we don't even have to use that muscle here. Guess they simply forgot that was on the board. Mm hmm. King is down to seven. Ping is down to six. Ooh. Yep, nothing we can do. Trebuchet. Nice. <laughs> like, Trebuchet really, that, okay, that ritual there helped, but... We were kind of like one short on mana every turn. Like especially if we would have got the proper mana to play out our draw card. Got more artifacts on the board, more creatures. Do a mulligan there. Uh, this looks kind of bad too, but we'll keep. We'll put the curious pair down here. Now we only have a, a few white lands, but we're seeming to you know catch them every game. Maybe this should have just been a mono. Like, I, every time I, I don't go a mono color, I'm like, maybe this should have just been mono color. Especially when I get situations like this. Constantly. Okay. 
kind of makes up for it. Gotta play the servant for no value. Feels bad. Red cap. Red cap. Opponent, what do you have here? Four. <sighs> oh, it has trample, so no reason to even block. This has been a pretty rough day of magic. We need one more mana. Let's block there. We take 10. Yeez. Wow. That was it. All right. That was a rough day. Uh, what a day to start the year. But at least we got a win out of it. I, th I really need to consider just sticking to my mono color strategy. But all right. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Next time, let's uh, let's try to get some wins in. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time.